Hello again. In this video, we are going to continue our simulation of our three-phase two-level converter, and we will extend the simulation. We already did the 180 degrees modulation, and we will change the modulation technique to sine PWM operation. And with sine PWM operation we will see that um, our harmonics and THD will improve so the only difference is the just the modulation technique and we will control the converter output with the modulation index maximum modulation index M as here So we have already built the converter when we were doing the 180 degrees modulation. If you don't know how to build up the three phase converter or even single phase converter, please watch our previous videos. Now the only thing I need, I need to see the three phase uh, currents. So I just put a scope for them to see three of them together and I just name phase currents then IA IB IC or even if you want to make this just use go to's to be more neat with your simulation so I see I I phase A B and C B and C. So my phase currents are here. My VAN. I'm just looking on for one phase and VAB, line to line voltage, and VNG, my neutral point here, and my ground point. I only have one voltage source which is 1200 and my load is 5 ohms and 5 milliamps for modulation techniques uh, I would use sine PWM but uh, you can just compare a sine wave Now, in a of constant, you can just use a relational relational operator and compare your sine wave with a carrier waveform, and then get your outputs. Or you can do another thing instead of uh, having my own carrier waveforms. PWM generator. Here we have PWM generators for DC, DC, and two level converters. I'll check get the PWM generator for two level converter so it has its own uh, the triangular waveform inside. So I will just give the switching frequency for this one. You can also choose the switching frequency by 
compare it if you would like to compare it to your uh, carrier waveforms then you can just give the switching uh, frequency here and give the shifts they have 120 degrees shifts or you can just make them zero the shift zero in all of them and shift your sine waves instead of my sine wave my frequency will be 2 pi and my frequency is 60 hertz 2 pi f and I have zero degrees zero radians so just make sure pay attention that these are in radians zero shifts here and then for this the other waveform I'll have negative 2 pi over 3 for the other phase and this phase will be positive 2 pi over 3 and you can do the phase shifts on your uh, modulating signals as well I'm going to use this PWM generator instead of comparing it to carriers myself so it will do, it will do the comparison and just will give you the switching signals it's easier I prefer this method so I have three one two three make sure you have given the phase shifts between your sign signals and also I would like to multiply them by my maximum M so I can later I can control M <coughs> you can give a constant So the output of this has two signals, so I need a DMOX, demultiplexer, to separate the outputs. T1 and T4. T2 and T5 and finally T3 and T6 T1, T2, T3, 4, 5, 6 1 and 2, 1 and 4 are complementary 2 and 5 and 3 and 6 they are complementary and then you can see 1 4 2 5 3 6 they are complementary now I need to adjust my free switching frequency mm. 1620 Hertz for my switching frequency and I don't need to change anything else except maybe sample time you can just put one a minus five same as my the sample time is the same as my sampling time for the simulation which is here one a minus five also if you go to the setting 
of this simulation you will see this is fixed step 1a minus 5 and ODE4 I'm using and I'll simulate the converter for one second then you can run the converter I see the error here invalid setting for input port dimensions of half bridge tmux this one's oh I, I believe this is because of my setting here here I need to put it on, on single phase half bridge converter if you put put it on the three phase bridge converter then you will have it gives you all the six pulses together and you you won't need even the extra work but we have already done so I just put on single phase half bridge and I'll get two pulses for each leg so this PWM generator makes your life easier I believe we should be able to run the converter now without any errors yeah. and we will see look into our three phase currents first yeah they look pretty One hundred three three phase 120 degrees each the phase shifts between every two phases and you can also check your VAB and you see that this is chopped now compared to our 180 degrees uh, modulation and VAN So we did this simulation with a pulse switch sign PWM as well. And here is my sign. Instead of having only just uh, comparing the my triangular waveforms with a, a constant which was zero, now I'm comparing my triangular waveforms with a sine wave. This is my modulating signal, which is desired my output is my out desired output voltage is a sine wave and that's why I'm giving this sine wave here and the carrier determines your switching signal the uh, switching frequency but this is built in, in this block with PWM generator also you may like to see for example this VAB the output line-to-line uh, -line voltage with a filter let's see if it's an a it looks like an AC first order filter here low pass and So I give this here and I look at the filtered voltage as well. So I can see that here the filtered voltage looks like an AC voltage. That's it, we are done with our uh, simulation of uh, sine. PWM for three-phase bridge converter.